Hey guys, Murloc68. Hope everybody's doing well today. Today will be the uh, fourth installment in the uh, Abus 83AL50 Charcoal Gray series. As you can see here, you guys have seen these three here a few times in different capacities. Only difference with this one is the short shackle. So since it was a short shackle, <coughs> I decided to go a little further on the changes. In the other ones, you guys remember, I removed all the butchered pins and put the brand new pins from the kit. And all I did was change the key, key bidding. On this one here, we've got a brand new key, brand new key pins, change in springs, and change in drivers. So we're gonna see, this is, um, gonna be the first crack at trying to SPP this and then I'll uh, bring it back with the leashy and see how that goes <clears throat> so this is number four and if you remember they were all keyed alike and all had that same issue so let's give it a shot see what happens here Pin one, pin two. Just finished putting this back together and cutting some new keys. Um, okay, it's a little bit of a fault set there on pin one. Okay, let's go to pin two. A little counter rotation there. Okay, a couple of clicks, nothing on three, nothing on four. Click there. Let's get over to pin six. Just check pin one again here. Just maintain that. Let's see where we are here. Okay, nothing on six. A little bit of counter there on five. Let's come back up to the top. Okay, that was one. Checking this top pin here. And that was four that gave me just a little bit of movement. Nothing on five. Tension's fairly light. If I drop pin one, let me come back up to the top here. That was pin one, gave me a click. Two, three, four is binding. Okay, went into a fault set now, a little deeper on that fault set. So let's see here who's next, who's binding. Um, a little bit of counter rotation here. Trying to get underneath pin three. Okay, that one's set. It's pin five is set. And let's see what pin six has here. I may have 
job. Ah, there we go. Got it on pin six. Okay. So let's have a look, guys. I'll show you what I did to this one. We'll go over the key, uh, the changes with the springs. Um, I had mentioned when I first brought the initial one out that I have not seen these charcoal gray ones. I don't know if anybody else has. It would uh, be interesting to know. <clears throat> um, there was some um, comments regarding the top of the core being shaved and so on and so forth. Look, at the end of the day, whoever did it, did it because it works. I mean, um, I always have made a funny comment that only someone in Locksport would notice that because we're picking and taking apart these things. But at the end of the day, um, it's not something that uh, I would do, but it allows you pretty much to, um, it's going to lock that up, um, you know, allows you pretty much to... Uh, put any pin in there too long and then you just come in and uh, a couple of swoops of the file and you've got everything clean shaven right down to the perfect uh, shear line as can be okay again I remind you guys of the detent so you're gonna slide it by hand just to get that detent started and again, I keep mentioning it, these ones are super, super tight as far as tolerances. I'm using the um, thinnest shims. These ones are from Sparrows. I find them to be the thinnest ones available, as far as I know anyway, and they work well. Okay, so we've got that shim in there. And we're just going to slide this through. Okay, we'll run it through the garden there. Okay. So there's the uh, five pins all needed to be picked and everything's brand new um, as far as uh, the pins they came straight out of the kit according to the uh, key bidding that I had uh, prepared for it so Brand new pins, and being the last in the series of four, it's funny because it was an unintentional series, uh, I didn't realize, when I ended up finding all four and finding the, uh, I said, well, let's do something with this one, sorry about the focus there guys, um, okay, so in position one, I went with a very sharp commercially serrated pin, with a heavy duty steel spring. In two, I went with a smaller spool with a copper spring. In position three, with a steel spring, I went with an ASA barrel, another heavy duty steel spring. In position four, I went with the same small spool that I went with in position two with a copper spring. And the reason for that was just to try to balance the, the pin stack. And another one, the same in position uh, number five with another copper spring of a different tension. And position six, yet another ASA barrel with a very light tension copper spring on this one here, guys. Okay, so I'll show you that. I'm not sure, but I think this will be the toughest representation as far as Lishi. We'll see how that turns out. The first attempt, as always, will be on camera. So that's what I put in this one, guys. Everything is brand spanking new. Um, I'll show you the key bidding here. Went with another fairly challenging bidding on this one. Um, with a zero cut in position three. 
and a seven before it and then two sevens after it and finishing off with a four you know just trying out new things so that's the fourth in the series guys of the abyss 83AL50 charcoal series as I called it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe leave a comment I will put photos in for you guys to see these beautiful pins and we'll see you guys at the next one stay well patience practice perseverance appreciate all your support take care